Are you like me in that you love Performance Max, but you hate that you can't see any real data? And by real data, I mean more than just the little dribbits of information that Google gives you in that Insights tab, which really tells you nothing at all. I'm talking about being able to see very, very clearly how much you're spending on the search network versus how much you're spending on the shopping network versus how much you're spending on the display and the video networks and more importantly, seeing the conversion data for each of those respective networks. And the reason for why this data is so important is because us as the business owners and Google Ads managers then really know where we need to invest more of our optimizations or more of an effort for our ad assets. Say for example, we can see that we're spending a lot of money on video, but we're just not getting any conversion data what we can then do is we can then go back and re-record some new video ads or if we see we're spending a lot on search but just not getting that conversion rate, we can then go back and write some new headline copies or if it's the case that we're seeing a high amount being spent on shopping but we're just not getting those conversions, we can then go through and go through and review our product titles and our shopping feeds so that we can improve those conversion rates. But as we said, we just don't have that access to that data from Google. Or do we? Because the exciting news that I wanna share in this video is that yes, you can access that data. And it's all because of this guy right here. Now, if you haven't met this guy, his name is Mike Rhodes, and he is another fellow Australian like me who is passionate about helping people really understand how to use Google Ads to grow your own business. And he's put together this amazing script which allows you to export all of that important data that we spoke about into a Google Sheet so that you can review and optimize that data. And I'm gonna take you through right now to show you how this sheet works. But before we get to that, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. So let's go right now and show you the data that you can see with your Performance Max campaigns. So what I'm taking you through right here is two Performance Max campaigns that we've added a script into Google Ads and you can actually see this data that we're getting. Now this is for two different accounts. So we've got one account in here and then we've got another account over here. So what I just wanna point out is that from here, you can see the amount that you're spending. So in this account, we can see that we've got a majority of the spend happening in shopping with only a really small amount in video and display and then green being the search amount. Whereas for this one, it's actually the opposite that we're getting a lot more spend in search with only a little bit in shopping and a larger chunk in video. But what I did wanna point out in both of these cases and and I've now run this sheet and this script across about seven or eight different types of campaigns and accounts. And I'm seeing that overwhelmingly that there is only a really small amount that is being spent on video and display. And even more than that is that more spend will generally occur for video and display over the first two to three weeks and then shopping and search really takes over. Now in both of these examples, these accounts are just running one performance max. But if you have a, an account that is running more than one performance max campaign, you can actually drop this down and change the different account data. The other thing that I like is that when you go into this campaigns tab is that you've got some great columns that you can see a lot of data on here. And these are the ones that I really like. You can actually see how much of your budget you're spending on shopping versus how much you're spending on search, display and video. And you can see with this one, it's 80% being spent on shopping with the remaining 20% going 19% to search and 1% to display. But more importantly, you can then see when it comes to the actual conversion value. So this one in here, you can see whether this is aligned. And the reason why I love this data right here is because we're spending 80% on shopping and we're getting 79% of the conversion value from shopping and we're seeing 19% in search and we're also getting 21% in search. And that's a great thing to see is that you're seeing that the amount of money that we're spending is really, really aligned to the amount of search value. So if we were have the situation where you're spending 80% on shopping, but only getting maybe 50 or 60% of your value for shopping, that would give you a clear indication that you need to go through and add in some extra optimizations to your shopping feed. So changing up some of your product titles, removing some of those products which are underperforming, or even looking at your product landing pages. So this is the great thing that you can do from here. Now, what you can also do as well is that you can also break this down into your different asset groups. If you come into this asset group, you can see from here in this one, we've got four different asset groups running in here, and this gives us the exact data. So what we can 
see from here is that I can see this bottom asset group. It's got the highest row asset running at 10.9 with the other ones running at 7.8, 5.3 and 4.3. Now, what's interesting and what we could do here as well is that we can see this one with the highest uh, row ass actually has the lowest amount of impressions. So we could even from here make this really strategic decision because we're going these two asset groups here that are running at the highest row ass actually have far and away the lowest number of clicks. So for these two, what I would be looking at is from this data, I'm now going to be breaking these two asset groups into their own separate performance max campaign. The reason for that is because we know that Google is favoring these two top asset groups because they do have some more search volume, but I believe it's coming to the detriment of these two different asset groups and these two different product types. So now that I can see this clear data in the asset group level, I can break this out into a separate campaign so that we can better control the spending on these two bottom products. And then what you can also do is then you can also, in this asset group, you can actually break it down by your impressions, your cost, and also your average value. So as you can see, by setting up that script in Google Ads to then export that data out into a Google Sheet, it allows you to take a deeper dive of the data. And like in the example that I showed you there, is that I can see really, really clearly with that asset group data that what I need to do is I need to separate my product categories. So currently I have four different products in the same Performance Max campaign. But what I'm gonna be doing is because now I've seen that two of those asset groups have a much higher ROAS but a lower spend, I'm gonna be breaking them out into a separate campaign so that they can get some more traffic volume and bring in some more conversions for that e-commerce store. And then also what it does allow you to do is that remember when we're on that campaign tab, you can actually really see the different data between how much you're spending in terms of the percentage of total spend that search or the shopping network is taking and then also see to make sure that that aligns with the amount of revenue that that is bringing in your store. Now that was just a really quick overview to show you the type of data that you can see when you set the script up. So what I wanna do from here is that if you follow the link in the description below, you're gonna get a couple of things. One, that's gonna take you through so that you can actually get access to the script. And when you get that access, Mike has also recorded a loom that takes you through the steps on how to set that up. So it's a really, really simple process. And once you've done it once, it takes about two or three minutes to set it up on all of your other different accounts. But what you can also then get access to is that you can also get access to an hour long discussion and interview that I had with Mike. And that takes it into great detail of how he came about to create this script and also the data entry points that he gets. And then we also have a greater discussion on the different optimization actions that we're gonna be taking. I also get Mike's view on, because he's seen a lot more of these sheets than me, on what normal trends are. And we also have a discussion about how this is changing, how we're going through and optimizing our Performance Max campaigns with this data so that we can get the best results for our clients. So I encourage you that if you're running Performance Max campaigns, especially in the e-commerce space, I really encourage you to follow that link in the description below so that you can get access to that free script from Mike and then so that you can also access that extended hour long interview that I held with Mike just last week. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in that extended discussion right now. And then finally, the last thing that I do wanna point out that this data only works when you're using the correct structure for your Performance Max campaigns. And if you would like to right now see how you can set up your Performance Max campaigns with the structure that's working right now, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.